Well, welcome back to another episode of Zach Fisherman. Today, we are fishing the North Saskatchewan River for fall walleye. We're using a different lure than we have in the past. I haven't really tried this for walleye yet. It's called the Duracoop by Jack All Baits. I'm just gonna pop it off bottom and see if we can catch some. I don't know, should be interesting. The river's very green. That's usually a good sign for big walleye. So let's get to casting, let's get to fishing. Get fishing. It is windy today. I can't believe how windy it is. Holy. I'm trying to watch my line, but I can't. There we go. That's on bottom, I think. Got one. There we go. First fish of the trip. What is it? Feels like a little walleye. It's a sauger, little sauger. Pretty sauger. <sighs> New lure right there. This is an interesting lure. I'm liking it. Just a little sauger. Beautiful little, little guy there. Let's get him back into the drink. So, I set this up, I made a few modifications. I got rid of the split ring and I upsized the treble to a size six. Just because I wanna be able to switch out my lures and I feel like a split ring is gonna compromise my knots. And a bigger treble will keep bigger fish pinned easier. They're, they're not gonna come unpinned unless I've done something wrong or they're pretty smart fish, so. Let's get back to casting. Let's actually try and catch a walleye. Casting out, letting it sink all the way to the bottom. Trying to watch when it when it hits bottom, but it's kind of hard to tell in this wind. I think that's on bottom. I'm using the half ounce Duracoop. There we go, watching the line. That's the whole trick to this. It's tough when there's wind blowing every, everything everywhere. Once I think it's hit bottom, I rip it. Oh, I lost him. Is that a fish? I think I hooked into something. It's not very big, whatever it is. Somebody else's line. Why is there so much line? <sighs> Clean up the river. Been fishing for a while. I think I might switch up lures. I came to the river with the goal of using the Duracoop or walleye, but caught a sauger, so similar to a walleye, but it's not quite a walleye. And sometimes it's good to not just go with your designated, this is what I want to fish with. You know what I mean? <sighs> One more cast. That was, that was my last cast. I got stuck. Let's see if I walk over here, if we'll get it. Walk to the other side of it and then just. Yeah. She's gone. I'm gonna go grab my other rod. If you've been watching my channel for a bit, you know this is one of my go to's. Big si it's a big sky fly jig cyclone and a hooked up fish and leech absolutely deadly with that underspin caught so many fish with this thing but one thing i hate about this rod that i have here is the reel it's a little bit big and bulky i wish i had a 25. it's just so much smaller and compact and better for fishing if anyone's looking for a christmas gift for me i'm a size 25 bluger president mom let's throw this around and see what we can find 
a little bit of a less aggressive presentation, a little lighter too, so I'll try it out. Uh, can't cast it as far. First thing I noticed. There we go, it's on bottom. When you're fishing, maybe don't be so stubborn. Don't stick to your guns. You can go back to Old Faithful if you want. I might even go back to the Cyclone later if this is still slow. Could just be a slow day of fishing, but I know this definitely catches me fish, so. It's crazy that on my second cast I caught a fish. Now it's just been me casting around, not catching much. Okay, so I've made 10 or so casts to no prevail. I'm gonna go for a hike, try a different area. When I get there, I'm gonna cast out my jig. Cause if I'm gonna lose anything, I don't wanna lose my $20 tungsten bait. I will lose my cheaper lead jig underspin any day of the week. But I've never tried down there. So I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, I'm not sure what to think of this spot quite yet. There's some crazy rapids there. Crazy rapids over there might indicate that it is shallow. But we're gonna try here. It's rocky. Oh, I had a fish on actually. No, I didn't. It is shallow as heck. And then I walk all that way for that. I'm gonna go for a walk over here. Leave half my stuff back there. Ow. Does it look like a deep hole? Maybe. We'll give it a shot. It's very, very wavy. Okay. There is a little back eddy in here. Really, that's kind of impressive. Little back eddy. Little eddy back. Uh, I'm tired. It's hot in these bibs. All right. I tried a little adventure, it didn't quite go as planned. It's way too shallow here to fish. So, I'm gonna make a mile back that way. Got one. There we go. That feels like a nice fish. Feels like a nice walleye. It's a scrappy little pike. Of course. There we go. Well, the slow streak is broke. Wrong species. Can't seem to catch a walleye on this thing, but that's okay. Little guy, let's get him back in the drink. There you go, man. Oh, I gotta retie now. It is so important to retie after catching pike because they're too toothy critters. Don't break your line like that. I have caught so many pike on this lure and I've only caught the one sauger. I caught a sucker on this too. Not to brag or anything, but sucker eat that. Let's try. Okay, well, okay. That was my trip. I've been having a hard time at the river lately. I've been catching lots of, not a lot of fish. I've been, I've been catching one or two. I've been catching a lot of pike. Do you guys catch a lot of pike? Like everyone that, like I'm telling my boss that I'm catching pike and he's like, you're catching pike in the river? He's never caught a pike in the river. I caught lots, I, they're, they're, they're littles, they're babies anyways. But anyways, I digress. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try and catch some big walleye, but you know, I'm grinding. I'm working a lot too. I'm, I'm trying to do my best here. And you know, I, I, I mean, I caught two cool fish in the river. I caught a sauger and I caught a pike. If a pike is a cool fish in the river. But anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.